All right, hello. Welcome back to Daily Yam Day, my 1,000 day challenge. This is day 561, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, you see a further drop in terms of my equity balance itself. Uh, nothing to be too much of a concern. So it, it comes from both sides. Like I mentioned, I did close down a small little losing trade for experimental trade setup. That's over there. The reason why it's less than the usual 1% in terms of my size is basically because I didn't move the stop loss higher after it moved towards a certain direction itself. So definitely does help to mitigate some the losses that's an experimental thing that i'm trying it out so to see how things works in that in that perspective itself all right otherwise in terms of main trading i said i will close my last long trade on uh, ethereum itself so definitely not looking that good but nothing to be too much of a concern about ultimately this is still a trend following strategy and you have to enter a lot and you may face strong pullbacks or drawdowns in terms of equity balance before you actually have a continuation in the upside when it comes to using a trend following strategy especially when you couple with a trading stop loss approach in that perspective all right otherwise in terms of market structure wise uh, taking a look in terms of that us market generally looks to be relatively a little bit short term bearish on both the daily chart itself we see a very nice uh, double top formation itself so let's go into the daily chart yeah so if you want to forward chart, you can see a double top formation same goes for the uh, daily chart itself over here over here similar things like a very nice m shape kind of pattern if you do consolidate right over here very break down below could definitely see us going off to 12.7k region itself so there's something to bear in mind and then similarly for ashr uh, i'm going to say similarly okay so for china market itself it looks a bit further more bearish in the sense that we are retesting this very key support region itself then you can see that this is previously a support and now it's turning to resistance with the 20 exponential moving average rejected once twice third time four time and the fifth time itself so definitely not a good sign so let's see how things goes i definitely do lead to a further bearish downside and then even for kva itself even though it break above and close above that the momentum didn't carry through you can see also in terms of price action wise we actually tried the second day but which open lower attempted and then we feel and close right below and then now the bearish momentum is still in play so definitely we do consolidate right over here for extended period of time i do lean towards breaking further down towards the uncharted territory itself and in addition you can also see that macd have some time to reset itself we similarly a bearish sign itself especially we do cross over to the downside given time to consolidate and that would lead towards further downside momentum itself and then finally for bitcoin itself i would say it's right now a little bit of a neutral uh, to a little bit bearish especially if you look into the shorter time frame on a four hour chart so i'm not entering a shot just yet for bitcoin simply because you can see over here you can see over here we have a retracement up retracement so potentially we could have a small retest upward before we continue towards the downside but i don't see a nice support just yet and we are still seeing momentum picking up in terms of macd you can see very clearly so if support do find itself over the 200 uh, day 200 uh, period for our moving every exponential moving average itself mm -hmm. then perhaps a shift of momentum can take place but bear in mind that both us and china equity market doesn't look that good temporarily speaking so let's see how things goes over the weekend it can be quite crazy at times so it could just remain relatively flat over here so yeah, otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.